everyone, we have Mutant merch. Check it out. I've got a brand new shirt for all of you with all of the mutants from season one. We've got the mother, the chef, the ice cream man, the farmer, the photographer, the seamstress, and the mantis all in one really cool design that is available right now for a limited time only. This was illustrated by Joshua Setzer on TikTok. He's super talented, so check him out if you get a sec. But yeah, I've been wanting to release Mutant merch since I made the ice cream man. Now it's finally here, and I'm so excited to share it with all of you. Like I said, this will be available only for a limited time, so be sure to grab yours while you can. I will put all the links below. It is also featured in my merch shelf beneath this video and it does ship worldwide. All right, now another thing that I like to mention is we just hit 500,000 subscribers on this channel and I seriously cannot believe it. It's totally snuck up on me. I was not expecting this video for at least a couple more months and it's here early and I'm so excited and so grateful to all of you actually because honestly, if there was no you watching my videos, there would be no Ace of Clay. So you have seriously given me this platform and the ability for me to do what I love every single day. And I am so grateful to each and every one of you and so thankful that you guys enjoy my content. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for 500,000 subscribers. All right, now the reason that you're probably here is to see the latest mutants. And like I mentioned earlier, all the mutants on my shirt, all the previous designs are from season one. Now we're starting season two with what I'd like to call the Red Lady. The Red Lady is an extremely dangerous mutant from the darkest realm of the mutant universe. She wears all red and she moves like a snake. She can stretch, she can bend, and she's super creepy. And I will definitely be telling you more about her later on in the video. So without further ado, if you're ready to see me bring the Red Lady to life, then hit like, hit subscribe, grab your mutant merch. Let's get started. All right, let's get this 500K special going. Uh, right here, I've got my wooden plaque and I've got a single bamboo skewer. This is going to be the main base structure for the sculpture. She's not gonna have two individual legs. She's gonna be shaped like a snake. So I'm using this instead of the wire just because it's a little stronger, it doesn't bend. And I'm going to attach some wire to the top of this and move it however I like. So let's just start with this. Got that in the hole there, nice and snug. All right, we're gonna trim this down just a little shorter because I don't want that long of a piece. Now I'm going to cut this around that so that it's nice and snug. This here, she'll bend forward and she'll kind of be in like this S shape. And then we're going to give her some shoulders. Secure this at the waist. There we go, we've got the main structure so we got that now i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to wire wrap this entire thing a couple times just to make it even stronger i am i will be using um ultralight too but i do want to make sure that this is super strong and it's not i don't have to worry about it breaking because she is going to be a little top heavy Now I'm gonna attach her arms. I'm using the thicker wire just because it's a little stronger. And I don't know what position I want them to be in yet, so I wanna be prepared. All right, now that I have that figured out, she's nice and tall. Let's go ahead and start bulking out her dress and torso with some super scopey ultralight. And before I attach the ultralight, I just wanna add some bacon bond to all of my wire, just so that it sticks better. Also, this is called oven bake clay adhesive now, not bacon bond anymore. I know, very sad. So, we're gonna bake her and then come back and start adding our clay. Be right back. All right, now that she's baked and completely cooled down, it's time to start covering her in clay and get those details going. For this project, I'm using Super Sculpey Original.
From the depths of the darkest realm of the mutant universe, the Red Lady resides. Once a beautiful model turned evil and hideous by the entity, the Red Lady disguises herself beneath a porcelain mask that covers her disfigured face. She wears a red hooded dress with sleeves and gloves and navigates the world like a snake or a single wisp of smoke. All right, now that the whole thing is completely covered in clay, I'm gonna go ahead and start those details. She's gonna be wearing a very long dress, so we gotta add, of course, those folds and wrinkles. Let's get started on those. Hey everyone, don't forget the mutant t-shirt design is now available. It has all your favorite mutants from season one. We've got the mother, the chef, the photographer, the seamstress, the ice cream man, the farmer, and the mantis all in one really cool design. So check it out. It is available in multiple colors and styles. The link is in the description box and grab it before it's gone because it's only available for a limited time. Now back to the video. Now that her body looks pretty good, I'm happy with it, and I'm gonna start her arms. I'm not gonna pre-bake the body just because I don't think I need to, but if I do, I'll maybe I'll change my mind later. But anyway, let's start those arms and then we can work on her head. Now that that arm looks good, let's go ahead and make her hand. Um, I think I want it positioned like this, so I have that piece of wire bent up. So let's go ahead and start those.
now that I've got that, I'm gonna go ahead, let's make that other arm, and I will be right back. All right, now that both arms are done, and she's looking pretty good, she's in this sort of like, I don't know, dancing, wispy looking position. I like it, might move that arm a little bit more later on, but I'm happy with her so far. And now we're gonna go ahead and make her head. And I think for her head, I want her to be like pretty disfigured and scary, and then she's gonna have like a cracked mask over half of it. At least I think that's how I wanna approach it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and see what happens. Her appearance is alluring, but don't be fooled. There is not one ounce of good within her. She's the only mutant that fights her disfigurement as her vanity transcends all others. All right, now that I've got everything pretty much done, I'm gonna go over the whole surface with some clay softener, get rid of those fingerprints, smooth her out, and we'll get her in the oven to bake. All right, there we go. She's all nice and smooth. I'm gonna stick her in the oven for about 45 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'll be right back and we'll be ready to paint.
She appears through mirrors and can strike at any time of day. She is bloodthirsty and viciously eats her victims while they're still alive, after seducing them and wrapping her long, snake-like body around theirs, holding them in place. Once she has finished her meal, she replaces her mask and slithers back to her home realm until she's ready to strike again. She has single-handedly taken out unsuspecting small towns and villages. And she's done! The Red Lady is complete. Let me know what you think of her in the comments. I think she turned out pretty cool. She's definitely way different than any of the other mutants, which is was really my goal when I was making her. I didn't want her to look anything like the other ones. And I think I succeeded. She's really creepy. I really hope you enjoyed her story. And I had a lot of fun making her. So of course, let me know what you think of her in the comments. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. And then don't forget to grab your new mutant t-shirt. It is available right now for a limited time only. The links are in the description box below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Thank you so much for 500,000 subscribers. Be sure to check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Ace of Clay, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.